Hello friends, I am Ithat and you are watching Ghosty Gamer. So today I am going to show that how to create a bootable pen drive of uh, Mac OS Sierra using Transmac. So you need two files and a USB pen drive which is larger than 8 GB. Uh, you need a Mac o a Transmac which is available from uh, Tony Mac x86 dot com and uh, you need a Mac OS uh, Sierra dot DMG file to create the in installer so I have already got all those files and uh, let's get started first of all prepare your, uh, prepare your USB drive and as you see I have formatted my USB drive so first of all back up all the data before you format your drive and then go to transmac after you install it I am using a uh, evaluation uh, sorry evaluation uh, software sorry so I need to wait for a couple of seconds then uh, as you would see this is my USB drive and then I need to first of all uh, start the program with administrative privileges Now I need to format this for Mac here. Yeah. So yeah. Now it will take a bit time. Uh, less than uh, it would be taking uh, less than five minutes or depending upon your computer speed. Yeah, so as you could see, uh, the file explorer came up with a notification that I need to format this, so just cancel it and uh, click OK on format complete. Now you need to prepare the disk for, uh, sorry, you know, you need to flash the drive uh, with the, the boot, uh, DMG file. So uh, restore with disk image. Yes. Now click on this uh, uh, browse button. So this is my um, Yeah, so here is my file .dmg file. So as you would see, I'm uh, using a high zero file, which is uh, sorry. So it, this file is named as a high zero, but I'm going to uh, flash a zero file just because just uh, I'm sorry, it is just uh, renamed as high zero. So yes, now it will take around uh, an hour or uh, uh, two hours to make this. Uh, uh, drive uh, compatible for installing macOS. So if you are wondering that uh, uh, you need to do something uh, with Clover or something else, so just uh, uh, you need to use Transmac. It will all sorry. It will uh, automatically install the Clover bo uh, boot menu, and uh, you could uh, uh, see it when you boot uh, the USB uh, you boot with the USB drive. As you could see, uh, the, again, I got a notification from Windows that I need to format this. Again, I need to click cancel. Okay, cancel. 
now you could see restore complete now click ok and now uh, you are good to go to install mac os on your original mac or on a pc so thank you friends for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video thank you